Hey, how's it going, all you lovely people at Shut Door or Door Shutter? Coming back to you with episode 27 of FTB. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing, um, but I am going to quickly show you the um, RS Requestify requester here. And this is actually pretty simple to use. All you need to do is basically put the item that you have a crafting recipe for in your system in here. And then specify a quantity. Uh, one of the one things that I do not like about this requester is that you can't change the amount for each individual piece. So what I've done is I've got one for 128, I've got one for 64, and I've got one for 1024. So if we needed to keep certain numbers in stock, uh, I kind of have that going here. And of course, we can add more as we need. Uh, but now we have, of course, some processors in here. And we also have some casings in here, if we quickly take a look at that. Um, so we have things. Uh, one of the other things we could look at is actually like andesite alloy. If we wanted to, we could actually throw this in here and we could actually get some of that, which is fantastic. All right. Um, and obsidian is still generating, sadly, um, but we do have 1000 of it. So let's try and look at flux and let's try and look at a gargantuan flux storage. Okay, so we're still missing 263 pieces. Um, and I have doubled the actual system as well, just because I was trying to see if we could get a little bit more quicker. So we have two of these systems just exactly replicated. And I've moved the actual detector right here in front of the relay, or I guess behind it. I don't know. I don't Whichever direction you're looking at it. I placed it next to the relay, and this actually will work. So if we change this to zero, it'll stop. If we put it back to 15,000, it'll go. So that's a good thing to know. Also, if you speed up this floating daisy, pure daisy, it will actually speed up the production of obsidian. So that is fantastic, but we're still waiting on that. So let's check at what else we need. So I know we need some precision mechanisms. Now let's just look at mechanisms. So yes, we have 5.6, so 5,666 it looked like, or 67, one of those. Oh, 604 now, because we took some out, but it's okay. Um, but this actually is going to be used for a quest as well here. So it's this one. We'll just submit all of those, which is awesome. So it looked like that was only 32, um, but now we're waiting on the gargantuan one. So let's keep, let's keep going here. So um, we need luminous crystals. I think that's kind of where we're going. So uh, Signalum, we can actually quickly just request 128 of this, because why not? Uh, and that will get done over time. And then let's look at the luminous crystals here. So we need a salvaging table. So this thing right here, which I believe requires gem dust. Okay, it does. So let's grab some at apotheosis gems. We don't have too, too many of these, but we're going to grab the kind of uh, the grade tier, which is the lowest tier. And uh, we'll turn these into gem dust real quick. Do to do. We'll just keep grabbing them. And then we'll grab an anvil. Real fast. Okay, turn off our magnet. And we're just going to quickly go find a wall. This one will work. Okay, and then drop the anvil, and that'll turn those into gem dust, which is fantastic. We can turn our magnet back on, and that'll give us a gem dust for now. So, salvaging table. Let's grab a smithing table. Let's grab an iron axe. And let's see. So, yes, this should be craftable. Perfect. And then let's go upstairs. And eh, let's just place it down here. Here's my smithing table I was looking for last episode. Um, but we can look at, for example, netherite armor. Um, let's see here. Do we have anything? Doesn't look like... Oh, right there. So this stuff, we're looking for blue. We're not caring about purple right now. We'll worry about purple later. Uh, but you can throw this in here and you can click salvage items and that will give us some of those crystals. So let's look at maybe diamond armor. Uh, this. That. Do, 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 do. Okay, uh, iron. Just kind of keep going down the line, right? That's what we're looking for. All right, it looks like we don't have... Oh, we do have one piece of iron. Um, I mean, we could sort, the, sort this by uh, 
no craftables. Dis ascending. And that should give us a little bit more look at what we actually have in here. Uh, let's make sure we're doing it by quantity. So all of these bows, none of those. Okay, chainmail. Nope. And this is what we're going to kind of do real quick. So let me be right back. Okay, so we just have just enough of these shards here. So we're going to wait to submit this. Uh, but signal them. Uh, not, not that. Uh, at thermal. Signal them. Oh, it's because I have uh, only craftables. Okay, let's turn that back to normal here. So we should have those two things. And then we can toss away those two. Perfect. And then we're kind of just waiting on the flux storage stuff, right? Um, so we just need a little bit more. So I guess I'll be right back in a second. Also, a quick side note. Um, if you look through these spoil bags, you should be able to find Apotheosis tools. Maybe not the greatest ones, um, but you can definitely find them. So keep that in mind if you're trying to complete this quest. Honestly, I don't really know any other way to get these tools because I've killed a lot of enemies and basically I've gotten nothing from them. So I'm not 100% sure really how you're supposed to get these. So that's a thing. I kind of looked around and I really haven't seen a lot of people like make independent FDB Sky videos on it. It's just kind of, you know, mixed in with a whole bunch of their other content, but it's not really that informative. So, um... I got nothing. Just kind of, you know, looking through these every once in a while. Because uh, you also can find, like, obsidian and stuff in here as well. So it's not like it's just uh, a waste, especially during the earlier game. Uh, but yeah, so just wanted to make bring that to your guys' attention. Alrighty. So we have the access to the gargantuan flux storage, which is fantastic. So that's going to craft up, and that's going to take a minute uh, to craft because it is quite a large process of getting all that flux uh, dust and everything together, which is why we needed so much obsidian. So yeah, right here, we are currently doing a lot of that. But a way to speed this up, so we grab like 20 of these bad boys. Uh, speed, let's grab all of those out of here. Let's grab some stack upgrades. Let's grab like 10 of those. Okay. Okay, so speed upgrades are the only ones we can put in here. Okay. So now we have a whole bunch of obsidian in there. And then downstairs here, this should be firing pretty, pretty quickly. And then of course this one's firing pretty quickly as well. So everything is working. Everything's going to take some time. And ladies and gentlemen, we finally have a gargantuan flux storage, which immediately is going to be put into the quest. So we don't have it any longer, but that's okay. We know we can craft it in the future if we need one. I think I have the second to last tier of that. So I never bothered getting the other one. Greatly reduces the duration of negative effects. I don't really care about a negative effects that much, but that's all right. So let's grab this, let's grab this, and then let's grab some advanced processors. Um, two stacks, perfect. And then it'll just quickly craft some back up. So let's just grab that. And then mending. Yeah, this this and this one was kind of eh, that quest. But that's all right. Not the greatest rewards yet. That's, that's when we get into these two bottom rows. So advanced machine frame. So right here, actually, perfect. So we'll let that craft up. Uh, what else do we need? We need 64 blaze cakes, which we're going to have to figure out how to make those in the first place. This is going to be the rest of the series, basically, where we kind of are just going towards a lot of the quests, right? Automating things we specifically need for the quests. And I think that'll be fine. So we need chicken eggs, sugar, and cinder flour which cinder flour is crushed netherrack in a crushing wheel. Okay. Okay, okay. So we're going to have to we're going to have to make crushing wheels, which is uh something we actually haven't made yet. So we're going to have to kind of get into create a little bit here, which is fine. Exactly why I'm doing this is because I kind of want to touch the mods that we need to touch instead of just going off the off the beaten path a little bit. This is a quest oriented mod pack, so I kind of want to keep it that way. 
So what we need is a mechanical crafter. So we need this right here, which requires electron tubes. So let's grab, do I have iron plate recipe in here? I might not actually. Let's grab iron plates. Okay, so let's go just 128 of those. And then let's make some electron tubes, which we actually need quite a few of these. So let's grab rose quartz as well. I think, can I, do I have, hold on, polished rose quartz? Do I not have that recipe? Man, there's a few recipes that I just completely missed. Alrighty, so we've got that going now. So we should be able to get quite a few electron tubes, perfect. And then what we need is the mechanical crafter. So this right here, I guess I already had it bookmarked. So we're gonna need quite a few of these, I believe 22 or 21, I think 21. And then this is actually gonna prompt us to go to create here. And then of course here, um, so crushing wheel. When two crushing wheels rotate into each other, they create, they crush what uh, passes through it. And then, of course, we have wireless stress, which is like a basic wireless transmission of of stress, which is fantastic. I don't know how, the, I don't know the limits on this at all. Um, but all I would look at is this one. And they don't look that expensive, but I would need to be able to understand. I want to get into kind of understanding how to auto craft with this. But all we need is 21 for that. We also could start looking at the electric motor, which would be pretty cool. So we could maybe get rid of all those windmills, which wouldn't be a bad idea at all. But let's go hop, skip and jump over to the create area. Lag city over here, but that's fine. So I want to I don't even know if I have enough room for this down here, but that'll be all right. So I think the recipe is something like this. Let's look at crushing wheel. So it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. Right? Crushing wheel, one, two, three, three wide. So one, one, two, three. Oh yeah, that makes sense, okay. Because uh, this would be going the wrong direction. We need to have right there. All right, and then what you wanna do, I know this for a fact, is we want to make sure that these are all going into one central point. So this one can lead into this one. This one can lead into this one. Then we got to make sure that all of them are connected somehow, right? So all of these need to go down and then over. And then this can actually get a barrel. Because if we wanted to, we could actually switch it to this and then just have the barrel be there. And then we want andesite, alloy, and polished. Okay, so stone and planks. So andesite, alloy, planks. I probably should put planks in the uh, requester, just so we always have a thousand. Okay, and then what we'll want is we'll also want stone. Okay, so we'll place this here, this, this. This, 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 this. Basically, a, just like a kind of outward thing. And then planks. Oop, no, not those. Planks. Okay. But the other thing we need is some sort of energy or uh, actual rotational force. So what I think I want to do for right now is just kind of make a simple windmill. Oh, are you... Okay. For some reason, you're not two-way synchronized. Okay, so crushing... So we want a windmill of some sort here. So let's grab a windmill bearing. Let's grab some sails. Yeah, we're gonna need more sails here. Okay, and then we're gonna want, 
just kind of a plank, which is fantastic. And then some gears and I or cog wheels. And I'll be back here in a second. So let's quickly grab. Kind of surprised the actual mechanism stuff is still going. All right, come on. All right, let's go only craftables. So I can just craft quite a lot of these. So I can actually have some of these. Fantastic. And then we want to grab a gearbox or two. All right. So let me get this set up and I'll be right back. All right. So it's working. You can see that it's all cruising. It's crafting. But it's working off of one windmill. So it's going to be pretty, pretty, pretty quick. Which is fantastic. Um, so what I really want to get is the... What do you call it? Electric motors. And the reason I want to get these is because I would love to get rid of all of these windmills that I'm using to basically power resource generation so we can kind of save our frame rate a little bit because I know that's one of the biggest things. So let's take a peek at this real quick um, and venture off the quest stuff here. So brass ingots, which are crafted with zinc and copper inside of a blaze burner. Yes, because they made brass a pain to craft all right um okay we also need copper spools which is a rolling thing uh which is copper plates i don't even know how the the rolling mill works anymore okay so let's grab a roller is that what it was called rolling roller rolling mill yeah, this thing right here. So let's grab one of these. We're just gonna kinda quickly take this over. Okay. And then copper, let's go make copper plates. Alrighty, so we should be able to craft up a couple of these, uh, but we do need to make some copper spools, fantastic. Um, we need to grab, so we need to have these. We need some iron rods. We need some capacitors, okay? We also need brass sheets, which I didn't auto-craft these fully yet. So we're gonna have to wait a second on those. What else do we need? Uh, just andesite alloy. Andesite alloy, perfect. Okay, so brass sheets. I think we should have enough to get this started. So one, two, three, okay, so Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, andesite alloy, capacitor, copper spool, iron rod. Can I do it this way? It does not look like I can craft it this way, unless I crafted it wrong. No. Okay, so let's try this one more time here. So what if I put it, push this down one here? So this, 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 that, 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 and then andesite alloy. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I disconnected this because I added that cog right there to allow for us to do some crafting without needing to make another cog wheel or make another windmill. So, should this work now? It should, but I don't think it's going to. Okay, why are you not going to work? Brass sheets, right? These are brass sheets. Copper spools. All three copper spools. Iron rod, andesite alloy, and a capacitor. Okay, so let's get rid of all of this. Okay, so let's go here, 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 and here, 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 and here. Okay, so it just does need to be that. I think what I can grab is at create blank, uh, or is it cover? Yeah, these things right here. If I actually grab a crafter slot cover, I could do a full one. So let's try that real quick. Okay, so I just need to do that. And then let's go here. 
grab some brass nuggets. Let's just grab quite a few of these. So if I cover up basically all of these slots, I think, right? Three there. Okay, so that should be everything. So this, 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 that, 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 and a site. Yes, okay. So that does work. That was my problem. I just didn't do that. Okay. So what we should be able to do with these is grab a create wrench and a flux point. Okay. And we can actually go and test this here. But if I take out this cog wheel, for example, or not shaft, not cog wheel, and I just take out all the way down here, let's just... Yeah, because I don't think any of this is connected. Oh, this was connected. Okay, so we actually do need to put this here. So let's place that back. That, this, there. Motor. Okay, and I think I need to flip this over. All right. And then on the back here, you can see that there's different amounts. So if we just scroll all the way to 256, this is the highest amount. We should then be able to put a flux point here. And this is overstressed. Okay. So we might need to divide this system up, which is fine as long as we can get rid of this. So if I do this. All right. Let's slow it down maybe. And then see what we can do. Nope. So put this here. Let's get rid of the flux point for a second. So let's try 128. Okay, no. So this is completely overstressed. Uh, well, I was hoping this wouldn't be a problem. And I don't think I will be able to use one. So I'm curious, can I use... So there's three. Okay, so that would operate. Okay, so let's take out this one. Okay, so I could do two. So all I would need is three motors here. And that doesn't tell me how many motors I would need on the actual conveyor system. Because I can make plenty of these. I'm not as scared to do that. But we'll just have to see. So let's go 96. Did I not grab that flux point? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Ooh, I did not mean to break that. Okay. So put this here. Why are you sending out ingots? I don't know. Anyway, so this should operate off of one, which is fantastic. Um, and we probably could speed this up. Let's get rid of this for a second. So how high can we crank this? So pretty ridiculously high, but we don't need it to go that high. Because I don't even think this is going to do anything, honestly. Actually, it's it's going the wrong way. Hold on. That's why it was sending ingots. So I need to invert this by doing a gearbox. And this should actually invert the electric motor. So let's quickly crank this back up. Maybe not to that extreme. So we'll go 112. And let's just stick to 96. That should work. Okay. And then everything should be good up here. Maybe. Okay, yes. Everything's blowing the right direction. Yeah. So now let's let's try it I guess. Let's crank it up and see what happens. Cuz 
Because in theory, all of the fans and everything should go faster. Yeah, see? So if we just watch how quickly this goes. Yeah, pretty decently quick. I wouldn't say it's the fastest, but that's okay. So what we're going to need to do is basically get a gearbox and craft up uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to get some cogs. I probably need to just requestify these for later, but that's okay. That precision mechanism stuff is is like tearing the they're just crafting these all the time, so that's what I expect. All right, so let's go vertical gearbox. Place this here. Electric motor. Let's go cog wheel. Turn this down. There we go. Not even a cog wheel, man. Flux, so normal, so at flux. I need to auto-craft flux points sooner or later. Uh, let's go flux core, 64 should work. Come on, flux cores, there we go. So then we can set this one down. Let's go 192. Okay, overstressed, and that is because you need to disconnect from here, and then we can get rid of the shafts here. All right, that means we can actually grab some cobblestone slabs. Also, we can turn down the speed on this because it's not going to keep up with that, by the way. Like, I 100% already know that it's not going to keep up with how fast it's going, the pedestals at least. So let's quickly just crank this down again. I kind of forgot how slow the actual gravel production is. So we'll just go 80. That should be good. Because right now, let's see. Yeah, we have no gravel. It's just whatever's in here. So that should be reasonable. Okay, so then we're going to want to... Actually, we can get rid of this. We can keep all of that. And then slab and get rid of that I'm probably going to go turn this uh, this down just because it looks like it might be causing some lag eighty that should be fine okay so I'm just gonna do this um, for now and we'll wrap up this episode here. So, we've got a little bit further into create this episode, of course, because we want to get into some more shenanigans. And quickly here, can I turn down particles? Because I am in this area, and there's a lot of particles. So, particles, minimal. So that way we're not seeing all the fire particles and all that stuff as well. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching another episode of FTB Skies. I am enjoying playing this pack. Um, and we are also kind of getting closer to the end, which is something that I'm kind of wanting, by the way. Like, I do want to get this pack over with. It's not because I'm bored of the pack. It is just kind of because I want to get get focused on some other things, and I want to do one pack at a time, really. Uh, you know, exceptions with the TAC stuff, because that is a whole other ball game, basically. But, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Stay awesome. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.